we've got a new story to look at this week uh, called Mad About Mini Beasts. And it's not really a storybook actually, it's lots of different poems about all of these creatures like ladybirds, dragonflies, beetles, caterpillars. And look really closely at the pictures while I'm reading and see if you can spot some of those mini beasts while you're listening to the poems. At the bottom of your garden, you might just hear a sound, a chirrup from the treetops or a scuttle on the ground. If you step a little closer, maybe you can see a ladybird, a dragonfly, a beetle or a bee. The sun is in the sky and it's a lovely summer's day. The mini beasts have seen you and they want to come and play. So we've got a snail first of all and he says we're famous for slithering slowly but wouldn't you also be slow if you had to carry your house on your back wherever you wanted to go and here's the slug and he says we're sticky and we're slimy and we haven't any bones so we hang out under flower pots and shelter under stones Oh, the worm. I wiggle and wriggle down into my hole. And then when I want something scrummy, I munch a few mouthfuls of marvellous mud. Do try some, it's really quite yummy. The spider says, I love to wake up in the morning when my web is all covered with dew. It's such a fine sight when it glitters so bright. Don't you think it's beautiful too? Oh, the flies. My eyes are big and orange and my body's black and fuzzy and I fly around your house all day just being very fuzzy. This mini beast is a beetle. We've got these two feelers on top of our heads which wiggle and help us to see. And we scuttle around without making a sound. Can you scuttle as quickly as me? And this is an earwig. I like to feed on tasty plants and trees that have gone rotten. But the weirdest thing about me is these pincers in my bottom. On this page is a stick insect. It's quite hard to see him. Shall I take you a bit closer? The stick insect says, I'd rather not be eaten, so I've got this brilliant trick. I cling to leaves and branches and pretend that I'm a stick. Here are some ants. They say, we ants like to work as an army, which means that we do things together. Just watch how we carry these leaves to our nest. You must admit that's pretty clever. Oh, we know about these two, a caterpillar and a butterfly. Can you see the cocoon? The caterpillar says, I munch on the leaves in the garden. Then slowly I spin my cocoon. But now I must sleep as I'm going to be a beautiful butterfly soon. A ladybird. How many spots has a ladybird got? Look at my back and you'll see. I know that I've got, well, I've got quite a lot. Why don't you count them and see? And over here's a centipede. Hello, I'm the centipede. How do you do? I'm as friendly as friendly can be. Now, which of my hands would you most like to shake? I've got at least 30, you see. The fuzzy bee. There's nothing more brilliant than being a bee. You may think it sounds a bit funny, but you'd shout hooray if you lived every day in a hive full of heavenly honey. Or a dragonfly. My wings are like shimmering rainbows and my body's a dazzling green. Of all the animals here in this pond, surely I must be the queen. A grasshopper. We grasshoppers do enjoy jumping, as our legs are incredibly strong. And when we're not jumping, we rub them together to make the most beautiful song. It's night time now. Did you like those mini beasts? What a lot there are. Flying, crawling, slithering and jumping oh so far. Some live by the water and some live in the air. Some like living underground and finding food down there. But now let's leave the garden, we can come another time. 
Which beast was your favourite one? I bet you can't best guess mine. The end.